solving compound inequalities. Here are some absolute value inequalities and these just happen to be the ones we'll be solving today. To solve and graph them, where do we begin? Well, we look at the signs of the inequalities. What we need to remember is more is or, less is nest. Say it over and over again. Make up a rhythmic chant. More is or, less is nest. 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 Well, you get the picture. And more means greater than, so of these problems, these three will be ors. For this first one, it will turn into n is greater than 5, or n is less than negative 5. So that's the or. And when graphed, the or will likely be two boundary points with arrows going to negative and to positive infinity. And less is nest will apply to two lesses. And here is what it changes to. We make the positive number on the right negative, negative 10, make the less than sign, place the expression 3x plus 4 in the middle and make that less than the positive number, which in this case is 10. We will call it nest because the expression nests in the middle and doesn't have the arrows pointing outward. And on a number line, it is a filled in line segment between two boundary points. Let's do the first one and graph it. The absolute value of n is greater than 5. Since it's the greater than sign, it's or. More is or, right? So it will go two ways. The one on the left is n is greater than 5, and the one on the right is n is less than negative 5. We can mark both boundary points on a number line. These are open points because of the greater than and less than symbols. And the arrows are drawn outward in each case, the left to the negative infinity and the right to positive infinity. In description notation, we would call it n such that n is all real numbers less than negative 5 or all real numbers greater than 5, meaning positive 5. Remember that this is what more is or looks like. Now, here's another one. The absolute value of quantity 3x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 6. And since it's more again, we will bring it down to two ways. And here they are. They are 3x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 6, or 3x minus 12 is less than or equal to negative, five, negative 6. We solve each inequality by adding 12 to both sides. And we cancel the negative 12 plus 12 for each inequality. And we bring down what's left. Now we now divide each inequality by the coefficient of x, which is 3. We cancel the 3 divided by 3's. And we have x is greater than or equal to 6, and x is less than or equal to 2. And we put the boundary points at 6 and 2. Then draw the arrows outward. And these are the graph solutions. All real numbers such that x is later than or equal to 2, or greater than or equal to 6. Now let's look at this one. The absolute value of 3x plus 4 is less than 10. Is this one more or, or is it less? It's less, so we should remember that less is nest. Remember, less is nest. For less is nest, we start with the negative of the number on the right, which is negative 10. Then we place is less than 3x plus 4 and we finish with is less than 10. Uh, from our solving compound inequalities lesson, we bring back the three-headed monster since we have three expressions to this inequality. We first subtract four from all expressions. We cancel in the middle, and we bring down what's left. Now we now divide each expression by three, and we cancel in the middle, the negative 14 thirds on the left is negative 4.67 rounded to the nearest hundredth. And we mark the boundary points. And these are open points because of less than. And since it's less is nest, we fill in or nest between the two boundary points. And that is our graphed answer. We replace the three-headed monster with the nest. Isn't that sweet? 
We can also graph this absolute value inequality on a coordinate plane. We use dashed lines for boundary lines at x equals negative 4.67 and x equals 2. We need to shade in between the two dashed lines. The y value doesn't matter. It can range from negative infinity to positive infinity. It's the x values they're shaded. Now let's look at this problem. Uh, absolute value of quantity 6r minus 3 is less than or equal to 21. Stop the video. See if you can solve this absolute value inequality and graph it on a number line. Then restart it to see if you solved it correctly. This is less than, so less is nest, so we bring, bring it down like this. So we have our three-headed monster again. We get rid of the negative 3 by adding 3 to each expression and bring the rest down. Then we need to divide by 6, then cancel the 6's, bring down everything else where we have what we will need to graph. And here it is graphed on a number line. Negative 3 is less than or equal to r, which is less than or equal to 4. Here's another problem to solve and graph. The absolute value of quantity minus 4 is greater than 6. Stop the video. See if you can solve this absolute value inequality and then graph it on a number line. Then restart it to see if you got it right. Since more is or, we divide it into two parts. b minus 4 is greater than 6, or b minus 4 is less than negative 6. We add 4 to each side of each inequality. b is greater than 10, or b is less than negative 10. Negative 2, excuse me. Here is the absolute value inequality graphed on a number line. Here we have greater than 10 and less than negative 2. This has been solving absolute value inequalities. I hope the lesson has been helpful. Thanks.